finance manager in achieving the primary goal of the firm. So, understanding financial statement. Terms of under. This section provides meaning and definition of the terminologies that are significant for better understanding of the terms used throughout the simplified course pack of finance management. As you can through the using the labyrinth of learning in case you will be controlled with difficulty of the terms, refer to defined terms to you have a clean picture of learning concept. Next. So business financing is a term used to describe capital in a business the way it is obtained and used. And based on my research, there are two types of financing, the debt financing and equity financing. Next. So, so debt financing, kay mao ni siya ang when a company raises when by a selling debt instrument to investors. So, example is the bank loan, personal loans, and credit cards, and etc. And napo ni siya advantage and disadvantage. Ang iyang advantage is kung ni uyon ka or ni ah ni agree ka sa pagpundo sa utang is gikan sa usa ka lending institution or ang nagpahiram which is the lender so wala sila masulti or ginaunsa nimo pag manage sa imo sa imong company so mauna ang iyang advantage iya pong disadvantage kay kana siyang interest kay kinahanglan jud na ibayad ngadto sa nagpahulam which is the lender so it means ang kantidad nga ibayad mo lapas jud siya sa kantidad nga gihulam isa equity financing kay mao na siya ang naga process of raising capital through the sale of shapes So, nag-research po ko, tapos siya mga example, pero nagkuha lang ko, duha, ako nakuha kay ang angel invest investor o ang royalty financing. Ang angel investor kay individuals who provide funding for businesses. And the royalty financing is nag-provide o cash for a company expenses in exchange for a percentage of a product sale. Next. So, financial management relationship with other functional areas. So, the relationship between financial management and other functional areas can be defined as the follow. Next. So, financial management and production department. The financial management and the production department are interrelated. The production department of any firm is concerned with the production cycle, skill, and unskill, labor, storage of finished goods, capacity, utilization, and etc. And the cost of production assumes a substantial portion of the total cost. And the production department has to like to take various decisions like replacing machinery, install installation of safety device, etc. And all decisions have financial implication. So, ang um, financial management and production department, so interrelated siya magkaugnay. And ang um, financial management is nag-define na siya sa area, mauni ang nag-function in an in a organization. And ang um, production department is a group of function. Ang kunyari, ang isa ka production, pwede siya ang pinaka-largest na organization sa isa ka negosyo. So, unsa ilang relationship sa financial o ang production. Ilang relationship kay ang production kay, kunyari, ang iyaha yung trabaho is the produce of goods, labor, and other expenses. So, like, pagbayad sa tanan sa expensive. So, ang production department, kailangan po niya o kwarta o funds. So, ang finance, kay siya ang nag-fulfilled. Next. 
So, financial management and material department. The financial management and material department are also interrelated. So, material department covers the areas such as storage, maintenance, and supply of materials in store. Pro procurement, etc. The finance manager and material manager uh, material manager in a firm may come together while de de determining the economic order quantity, safety level, and storing place requirement, store personnel and requirement, etc. The cost of the of this aspect uh, to be evaluated so the finance manager may come forward to help the material manager. So, finance management and the material department are also interrelated. So, ang function sa material department is nag approach for planning, organi organizing, and nag control receiving and warehousing, storage and store administration, material handling, and etc. So, ang relationship sa finance o ang material kay, kay ano, between the two, so the finance provide the materials for chase so it also possible that you discover the problem or the flow in the material you for chase so next reporter so good morning ma'am um, financial management and personal department Um, the personal department is interested with the responsibility of recruitment, training, and placement of the staff. This department is also concerned with the welfare of the employees and their families. This department works with finance manager to evaluate employees' welfare, revision of their pay scale, incentive scams, etc. So, this department are resp responsible to recruit and hire new workers and this also provide training for workers to help with their professional development and they provide proper working conditions for workers by ensuring that the environment is suitable to work in then they organize the termination of an employee such as for retirement next reporter please yeah. Number four is financial management and marketing department. So the marketing is concerned with selling of goods and services to the customers. So ang finance ani kinaga prepare niya of strategic insights marketing. So between aning dua ka o between ato sa sa mga small and big decisions, so planning and planning and processes, but if once you're working with the answer, we shall. It, it is an interest training, marketing, selling, and advertising, and other related policies to achieve the sales target. If you're starting a business, 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 Shall be Janila. Basta lang nga, makakuha lang yun, makabawi lang yun siya sa... Walang reporter. Um, ako na lang, ma'am. So, financial management and marketing department. Um, the marketing department is concerned with the selling of goods and services to the customer. It is interested with framing marketing, selling, advertising, and other related policies to achieve the sales target. It is also required to frame policies to maintain and increase the market share to create a brand name, etc. For all this finance is required so the finance manager 
has to apply an active role for interacting with the marketing department. So marketing is promote the products or services by advertising and other marketing strategies and taking customers order, then transporting the products to customers, then preparing sales report for management to use in decision making. Na apa ba? Wait lang daw ma'am, nawala lang connection ni Princess. Okay, sige, sige. Hello ma'am, sorry kayo ma'am ha, natarog ang mga wifi ma'am. So continue na ko. <laughs> so the relation of finance to other business function. So business finance is the term to use a described capital in a business. The way it is uh, obtained and used. So business finance is naga refers to funds availed by business owner to meet their needs like bank loans and trade credit or uban pa. Financing is related to the other business function in the variety of ways. In fact, financing underpins many of these functions in a very real way, not all of which are immediately apparent. If wala ang financing, ang business kasagaran dili naga exist. To meaning to say, of other business function, so be because of rule of finance is overseeing acquired funds and managing excess fund and preparing for future expenditure of funds. Next.
Ma'am, sorry kayo. Ma'am, hinay magod ang net ni Espinosa. Ako na lang mag-report sa yang ano ma'am, aside. Uh, sige, sige. I'll just gonna edit this video kay para um, mura dyan po siya tuloy-tuloy later, ha? Huh? Okay po, ma'am. Okay, nakayaparded manggod mo. Okay po, ma'am. So, establishment. An uh, establishment is a business location for a company that is engaged in a single activity as a place where the business is conducted with the objective of getting paid for selling goods or services, even though specific sales actually take place at that location. So, an establishment can be a factory where goods are made and an assembly facility where goods are put together such an an also assembly plant um a warehouse where goods are stored before they speech spe ship or sold so a retail store where goods are sold then an office where services are performed for compensation so next is Production in anticipation of demand. Financing enables production in anticipation of demand. This is necessary aspect of many businesses. For example, a store has products on its shelves that are not merely a storefront with catalogs. Likewise, a carpenter does not wait until he gets a project to buy his tools. Promotion. Financing also enables promotion. The promotion of a business is an expensive venture, in some cases costing just as much as the cost of goods sold or st staffing. Finanza financing is required to fund promotion. A business will not get many customers if it does not advertise its presence, its product or service offerings, and its value promotion. So, promotion... It is a strategy to attract consumers or customers. It draws the attention of prospective customers to make them buy the products. Um, the example, kanang, buy one, take one. Offers the technique of marketing creates an interest in the mindset of customers. Growth. Financing also plays a role in the growth of a company without having advance orders and payment. Growth would not be a possibility without financing. In most cases, company growth is preceded by an investment in more employees, more inventory, another location, and etc. Um, important, uh, import, ang important sa growth sa isa ka business is crucial to the long-term survival of a business and it helps to acquire assets, attract new talent, and fund investment. Um, the effect of finance on business growth, um, if the company has too much debt, its, its access to financing may be constructed perhaps before the company had a chance to complete its growth strategy. Contingencies. Adequate financing also ensures that the company will be able to handle any contingencies that arise. 
A contingency is any sort of unexpected, unexpected expense. A such example, range from busted pipes to an ordering mistake that requires rush delivery to amend, or to hiring a temporary worker to cover someone who has an extended leave from the job. Anything can happen, but without financing, the company will not be able to afford it. So, contingencies. Okay, possible to happen in future. Meaning, dapat nindot sa imong pag-finance, then naakay solution sa mga pwedeng mahitabo, then dapat nakaplan naka na jud siya. Puntahay, na ay mali-mali sa mga deliveries or stocks or inventory na dapat i-hands-on ka permi through financing. Opportunities. Lastly, financing enables opportunities which can arise at any time without financing, a company cannot take advantage of those opportunities. For example, if the company's primary supplier of which is, is going out of business and liquidating its stock, if the company had access to financing, it will be able to purchase the widgets it needs at a substan substantially reduced cost, increasing its profit margin. So, dapat jud na nakai financing labi na sa mga business, kay kung wala kay proper financing, dili ka makagain o opportunities. Kung nindot ka mo dala sa imong negosyo or finances, na ida kong chances na mulago pa imong business. So, that's all, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that report. Um, I'll just gonna edit it. Halang ha. Okay, pop um, uh -oh, okay, medyo putol -putol. okay, classmates, do you have questions and clarifications? Wait, lang, I'm gonna open the. Wait, lang, for a while. Uh, just raise your